time in heaven because it's like an information board and a signing one. In this episode, we take you from Innes National Park back to Burners Beach and Point Turton on the York Peninsula before making our way up to Melrose at the base of the Flinders Ranges in South Australia. Chris asked me to come over here and let you know that it's moving day. So we came across to this side of the peninsula because the winds had shifted and it was not very nice over the other side where we were, but the winds are shifting back to this side now. So we're going to head back over to the Point Turton side. Um, we've got one night before we can check into Point Turton. So we're not quite sure where we're going today, which is not unusual for us, but wherever it is, we know it's going to be stunning. Moving day. Moving day, Gregory. It is. Moving day. So if you saw when we came into this campsite, it was a little tight. Uh, and I took about 9,000 point turn to get the truck out from when I unhitched the van. Um, so I was just thinking, uh, I'm going to be a little stressed here trying to get the truck back into here. So we've come up with a solution. I've just got the base plate. Gregory's got the attachment, which is the wheel. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the wheel on and then we're going to winch the van out and then be able to hitch it up easily. Oh, All here right. it is. All right. there you go. Look at this, mate. Look at this, and she is rock solid too. It's not like a little air tire, so it'll handle the weight of the van. So we will um, put the rear stabilizers down. We'll lift it up a little bit so we can lift the, um, put the stabilizers up the front down, and then we'll fit this wheel, and then we'll get the winch out, and we'll see if we can winch her out. See how we go, eh? <laughs> There's that wheel straightening. There's that wheel straightening. <laughs> Did you see the van just move then? When you get a dual axle caravan into really tight positions and keep maneuvering, the tyres tend to sort of twist opposite each other. And as soon as you take that pressure off, that front of that movable van and that front of that movable van and that front of that movable van and re-straighten up the wheel. So just be very mindful and very careful of those type of situations. Especially when you're unhitching and you're in a tight spot and the car's like sort of 45 degree to the van and you're standing in that position, when that van unhitches, that van's gonna move. So just keep that in mind, guys, eh, for safety reasons. Look at that. I've got so many soft shackles. I've got the fusion shackles. We've got static ropes. We've got heaps of the, um, the kinetic ropes. So, mate, bag of all sorts. So, here we go. So a static rope, a three meter one will do perfectly. And we'll get a couple of soft shackles, eh? The purpose is to create a bridle, so they're getting a centre straight An pull to pull a van back evenly. 100%. So we'll pull them up here. Then we've got a perfect centre pull here. Yep. Do you want someone with a bit of weight on it? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> we got it now. All right, ready to start rocking? Let's go. So we've pulled that jockey wheel right down for the least resistance. Everything's happy. I'm happy with that, eh? Just check, check your, um, your setup, make sure, just triple check everything, make sure everything's right before you go start putting tension on anything, hey? Yep. Just spend that little bit more time, all right. Just gonna watch that outer edge here too, Greg. Yeah. Right. All right, got us out perfectly, mate. The only thing I can suggest here is obviously safety number one, make sure everyone's out the way, and then triple check, quadruple check, your setup is okay. You've got your weak links there in case everything, anything's gonna go. You've got a dampener on there. Message, be safe. Come on, honey, Whoa. Uh, another little hot tip. When you're hitching and unhitching, I think a bit of an etiquette is to not go chat to people because that's a way that you're going to probably forget things. And another good point too is if your mate is up there helping, awesome, what a, what a legend of a mate. Thanks, Green. Yeah, I, I, but I appreciate it. I stopped but, yes. and I've made him do the rest of it so yeah. he knows it's done. Yeah. Exactly right. You don't, we don't want Greg doing a little part and I'm doing a little part and then something gets missed. We're heading off now. We don't know exactly where we're going to be camping tonight. Um, we do know that they need water and we all need food so, and we need to collect mail from Minlerton. So I think we're going to maybe Minlerton now and then wherever for the night. And then tomorrow we get to check into the <laughs> back at Burners Beach because it was such a top spot last time. It is a lot busier this time and where we were before is taken sadly. But there seems to be a couple of spots up here up the back. So Chris is going to go have a chat with Greg and see if that's what we're doing. Today is my 
birthday and it was well it's only like 11 o'clock but it has been great so far so Chris opened the blinds and showed me streamers and balloons that Greg and Donna and maybe the kids had snuck over and hung up while I was still asleep then they all came over Donna had made cake and um, ice cream and we had that for breakfast the kids made me bracelets and an anklet I'm wearing this proudly all day um, and Chris got me something that I've been asking for since well this is a Mavic this is a mini 3 and I've been asking for one of these since they were first released so I'm very excited to learn how to fly that and we're packing up now and heading over to Point Turton so I'm also very excited about that happy birthday to me nearly ready to go yep happy birthday did you let everyone know it's your birthday too oh look it's on your shirt I did give me that thing Ooh, look at this hey all day my friend actually all week little birthday girl all week celebrations will continue so once again we're in a really tight spot both of us and we can't go the way we're supposed to go so we've got to do forward backwards forward backwards forward backwards turn shuffle i don't know it's always an adventure getting in and out of spots we have this over there and we have this over here let's watch the maneuvering take place Birthday girl, where are we going today? Point Turton. We're going to Point Turton to see Malcolm and Danny and then we're going to go to dinner tonight at Waruka Pub yep. because the bloody Point Turton pub is not open. We're devastated, aren't we? Yeah, it's not open on Tuesdays and Valentine's Day is Tuesday. Yeah, but they should be open for your birthday. They should they? be open for my birthday. Oh well. Waruka Pub, look out, here we come. We're just excited to see Danny and Malcolm, hey? We are. Happy birthday. Aww. So because these guys have squeezed us in, we're up here in the big rig site for one night and then we move down the bottom tomorrow. So again, Chris has got a little bit of manoeuvring to do, if he ever stops chatting to Malcolm. Back at Pointed. Back at Pointed! It's good to see Malcolm and Danny, isn't it? Yes. So rad. We haven't seen Danny yet, she's in the office, so I'm going to head down and say day to her And too. then they're coming for dinner tonight? They are. At the Wataruka pub to celebrate your birthday? Yes. And my Valentine's Day? We're coming into the van, it's filled with balloons, we just kind of shoved everything around. <laughs> so that there caravan is the best for not just keeping dust out of the van, which it does really well, but for also getting rid of any smells that might be inside the van. So if you cook, if you burn something, if Chris has got a touch of the which happens regularly, flick that thing on within a couple of minutes, the whole van smells fresh. Works well too if it's raining for like a week or so and you hold up in the van, you can't open the windows because it's raining, or you dry your clothes inside and it feels kind of musty in here or smells musty. Again, flick that on within a couple of minutes. Awesome. <sighs> Dirty jumping!
Impressed. Well, Chris has got to come with us now so I don't have to guide him out. <laughs> so we are saying goodbye to the Campedia crew because they are heading over to explore the Air Peninsula while we head back to Melbourne for the caravan show. So we'll see them in a couple of weeks. Ah, the magic of camera work, hey? Eh? How's that? Yeah, the magic of editing. <laughs> <laughs> we have... Done a lot since we last saw you. We have. We have. This camera has been tucked away, hidden... And we've been enjoying an epic time with Danny Malcolm and the Holliers and everyone at Point Turton Caravan Park. And in between all that, what else have we done? Well, we you didn't, can tell by her voice here. We didn't show you Point Turton because we've actually showed you all of that beautiful park and Danny and Malcolm and yeah. the fishing charters and what you can do in this area previously. So you can actually go back. I'll drop a link below yeah. and you can go... Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I've lost my voice. It's actually starting to make a comeback. Um, yeah, so you can check out all of our Point Turton um, videos from last yeah. time. Um, but yes, spot. in between um, All arriving and leaving that. Point Turton, we've actually spent the past, I think, nine, ten days yep. um, driving to Victoria for the um, caravan camping show there and then driving back. So yep. that's the reason I have no voice. Two and a half thousand kilometres in a week of solid um, talking. show and talking. So <laughs> it's been epic. We are literally absolutely exhausted. We absolutely loved it though. We were on the Titanium Caravan stand. We yep. had the guys from Off-Road Creative there, Method Race Wheels, Jenny Hitches. We had such a cool vibe going on. We yep. met so many cool followers and subscribers. Um, and actually, we need to congratulate the 35 new Titanium family, family members. members. Man, it's it's insane. The show was an absolute success. 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, what can we say, mate? Like, the, seriously, the, the Titanium brand itself has just... It's exploded, mate. Like we say about the vibe. The yeah. vibe, the culture. It's not just a caravan for us it's titanium owners. It's, it's a family and it's a culture. And, man, we're so proud. Absolutely stoked. Yeah. Though. So as much as we hate shows because they take away from our travel, yeah. Yeah. hate's a real strong word. We don't like the shows because it takes away from our travel. We love them because we get to meet you guys and talk to you guys. Yeah. So we do have, you know, shows lined up here and there. And um, we really look forward to meeting you guys when you come on down to the shows. So that's what we've been doing for the past 10 days. Yep. We have been very, very busy, tripping all over the place. Yep. And we're about to continue our adventures. Um, we are heading west, but before we go west, we go are, west, young man. We're heading to Melrose. Finally, last time we were here, we didn't get to get to Melrose. So Melrose, we'll put a little map, do we? Yeah. It's sort of the top of the York, in between the York and the air. Um, it is an epic little, while we're here, it's a beautiful little uh, mountain biking town and community. So we've got some fresh new bikes which I haven't showed you yet so we'll keep Thanks that. Thanks to Pump and Pedals in Cairns. You boys are legends. Very... Pump and Pedals mate, the raddest dudes on so this So this planet. is another bike and another um, MTB trail for me to crash on. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> we Stick. haven't crashed too much down the bottom end so. No. So we'll be doing this for two days so we're going to take you along for the adventure and then on Sat Friday we are going to start heading across across the Nullarbor, are we? I'm stilling on the crashing. I was going to say I haven't crashed in South Australia oh. yet, but I crashed when we did that trail down on the Florio Peninsula. He said to me, we're going to go for a nice little ride around like Which the little towns that? and stuff, and he remember. took me up a ridiculous trail oh. to the top that I had no idea. It was insane, and I, I crashed. That was at Victor Harbour. Victor Harbour, there you go. Yeah. I crashed at Victor Harbour. Yeah, so anyway, but, all right. So we're heading west after we spent a couple of days Go in the west. Like, there are a lot of songs about going west, so apparently it's a good thing to do. So anyway, we're going to do it. Yep, let's go. Let's um, get to Melrose. We've got about a three and a half hour drive in between all that. We need to get some shopping done, some groceries, because yeah, we are Yeah, our fridge is pretty, pretty bad. We've got enough to make pizzas, except we don't have cheese. Although we just have a ton of squid and whiting. We do. We've got squid and whiting, which is usually what happens when you leave Point Turton. <laughs> Bloody love you, Malcolm. <laughs> all right, let's get going, eh? All right. Let's do this. See you on the track.
have finally made it to Melrose. I know Chris is super excited to hit those trails. We've heard a lot about this place. It's, we drove through, it's a beautiful little town, but we are gonna go explore the town. We're gonna go riding the trails. First things first though, we gotta get this caravan straight, so I better go ahead. excited because we finally made it to Melrose. Yay! Finally. We were supposed to do this place last year, but unfortunately the big rains hit the Air Peninsula. It's a bit wet. And wiped out this area as well, so. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because we've got two brand new mountain bikes that he can go and shred the trails on. 100%. We're so. stoked. We'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, We've just pulled up. It's a little, the little Melrose Caravan Park. I don't know exactly what it's called. Do you know? Yes, it's Melrose Caravan Park. It's at the base. I was right. It's, we're in the part of the Flinders Ranges, actually. I didn't know yeah, that until, yeah, yeah. We, until we drove in. Yeah. And it's actually right next to the Melrose Primary School. The kids are obviously on recess because they're out playing. Can I go play with them? You can. can I go play? <laughs> they're playing on the basketball court over there. So this is a beautiful little, little caravan park yeah. right at the base of the trails, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. We've got powered sites here. And then up on the other side of the creek, there's... um like a little no power, no water type area. What, what do we call it again? Kind of free camping, kind free, of. Well, no, bush camping bush, or something. Um, what, what, I don't even know the name of it. No power, no water, that's what no it is. No power, no, oh, 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 I had it. No, it's gone. Off grid? Off, no. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Unpa oh, what's the, what do they call it? I don't it know. It doesn't really matter I because it's there anyway, so. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's talking so much and he wanted to get this introduction done quickly because he's hangry. <laughs> we are hangry. We are hangry. But anyway, so, we are, we're running short on time, but we're going to do our absolute best, guys, to show you this amazing little town, the little shops, everything about it, and of course the trails too, and then we're going to show you our new bikes as well, which hey, we're um, super exciting. pretty pumped about. So anyway. Let's get going. Can we get some food now, I think please? the first thing you're going to see is Chris eating breakfast. Mm. He's a happy man now. So, <laughs> so, we so are, much better. Mm. We made it to over, over, the ed, over the Edge here at Melrose. There's a cute little cafe right next to the bike shop. Well, it's linked up to the bike shop, which is even more cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. There's, it's a really, really got a good vibe going on. Yeah. There's lots of stuff. You can buy local produce and clothing and... And I'm talking and look what's in front of me. <laughs> and I've got my coconut milk on the side. So, and, and we have kombucha, Fresh kombucha. Check on that tap. out. Like, look at it. It's just beautiful. Like, kombucha on tap. Um, we spoke to the local boys in the shop and we're meeting at 5.15 this afternoon so they can take us on a tour and show us all the rad trails and all the cool things. There's old, did they say there's ruins up the top there? There's an old castle that was oh, built yeah. up there or something. There's really cool stuff, so this is going to be a good day. It's going to be a really good day. Yeah. It, it's always helpful when you get in with the locals with their local knowledge, especially when it comes to riding the trails. I don't that's actually know eating. that personally, but that's from, from him, when all the locals take him on all the killer trails. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to enjoy this beautiful breakfast, brunch. It's 11.20, so it's not breakfast, is it? It's very much brunch. It's brunch. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to copy everything I say. You're going to copy everything I say. Bye. And, um, You're not and, hangry now. And I'm not hangry anymore, which is even <laughs> even better. And we have a map. We have a map. The locals told us about a nice little walk and a few little things, so we're going to go for a bit of a yonder. We're going to show you around the town now, and then later on show you the trails. Yeah. So these mountain biking towns are good for 
things other than mountain biking as other well. Other than mountain biking. Of course they are, yeah. And so, yeah. on a, yeah. And probably the more exciting thing than trails, which is hard for me, is there's a cool brewery there. And you oh. have to see this building. It is absolutely stunning. So we're going to show you that too then, aren't we? Yes. What do you think? Oh, we're coming up to the trailhead right now. Ooh, yes, here we I don't go. think we're going to follow the map. Probably just going to follow our nose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Look at those trails. Look at it, look at it all up there. Look at it all. That looks like a U trail. A U trail? Yes. What's a U trail? Trails that crazy people do that you do. <laughs> that looks like a I'll sit and watch from down here trail. Oh. That's not a trail, is it? Look at it all. Look up there. Oh. Nah, surely not. I don't know. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. That's a big version of this one. Is it? I don't know how to read them out. Mm -hmm. But yes, I think it is a bit Okay, alright. South Flinders Ranges. So there we go. It is part of the Flinders Ranges. Look yes. at that. And where's the glare going to stop here? Oh, there's Willowie. Oh, yeah. So we were told Willowie was good, weren't we? Willowie's the ne next town over or something. Yeah. And apparently there's some really awesome trails there. And I'm looking in there, green and blue. So for me, that is awesome. Look where we're riding. Where? There's the heat. black, 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 and a blue. Perfect. Look at all the blacks. <laughs> Look at them all. But a bit of information about the blacks. Well, hang on. Tell us what the trails mean. Okay, so the it's green the... means that you crash not much. The blue means you crash sometimes. The black means you crash a lot. And double diamond black means good luck. Or professional riders, you don't <laughs> crash on any of them and you enjoy the real <laughs> flowy ones. You enjoy the speedy, fast, technical ones. And then you super enjoy the super technical, gnarly, downhill, big gaps, rough. And that's the double blacks, which okay. I love. So, yes, we have different opinions on what each colour means. And this is but why we have different colours. What I've come to understand, because I kind of freak out on a black on a black trail, I kind of freak out a little bit, and I like to stick to the blues and the occasional black. But depending on where you are, the black trails may be more blue than black, or the blue trails may be more black than blue. And I've been told that these black trails are more blue. So for me, that's good for Chris. What's your opinion on that? No, no, no. So I'm actually excited to ride these. I think they're pretty flowy from what I hear. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the map. How's the old buildings here? Yeah, this is... I don't, are people living in there? Look at that. that. I don't know. I don't think people live in there. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I want to go look in the window, but obviously you can't. And not that I would do that. Do you know what you're doing? No, I said no, no I don't know what I'm doing. Why not? Because <laughs> I can't read maps. <laughs> stop it, stop. So he said, he said to go, I can't even, I don't know where it is, but he said to do like this and then come back along the road. <laughs> I think we're going to go down that way. So I, I, think he, I think he said past the tennis courts, which is here. Okay. I'm literally in heaven, absolute heaven, because it says trails and then brewery. And I'm in heaven because it's like an information board and a sign in one. Look, <laughs> Lambert Street, Benjamin Lambert, early special survey landowner and original purchaser of Lot 1 Melrose. You're special, darling. Stop. Okay, so I think this is where our walk starts. <laughs> Can't read a map so we can follow a sign. Oh, it says here, shared zone, so. It does, and it says chicken, chicken run, run and pots path. Pots path, so we'll go this way. Bye. I'm just going to the brewery. Huh? It's not open yet, or is it? Oh, uh, maybe it's not. Damn. So Chris has taken over the map reading job. <laughs> can you find out where, where we are? Yes, I can. Okay, it's my And opinion. we're in the right direction. We've got to go that way. Really? So where does that other way go? Uh, well, pretty much the same thing, but not. Me. If that makes any sense. It's a tricky map to read. So it does, but it goes back up and then back down, so we're better off going so along here. So the aim for here, for us, for this bit, is not to show you the trails. Okay. No. <laughs> doing that so, later. we are here, so we got to, he said, come along, walk along here, up top, and then down there, and then back past the brewery, and then back down to the town. So that's the loop we're doing. Okay. Just a little warm up before we go riding, so. It's pretty weird, hey? It's like a little love arch. Gross. <laughs> Over we go. Whoop. There's another gate here. Oh, as you can see, we've got our walking shoes on again. <laughs> oh, it's another gate. 
Well, there was a sign that said, please close the gates. Oh, but... Hang on, what did he say was down this way? Um, the old cars is an old army truck and something no, that's been turned was, into... Uh, I thought it was an old um, army shack. Oh, okay. Didn't he say, we should, have li we should have listened better. That's that house down the bottom of that street where we drove down, the dead end of the brewery. Yeah. What a cool backyard. Looks like a pen or something, doesn't it? Oh. Maybe that's their gateway out to the trails. How cool is that? It's like a little tunnel. Look at the cubby house. Look at the... Wow. What a cool place. This is what I love about little towns like this. Little quirky little things, man. It's so rad. What have you found now? Shared zone. What is this one? Yeah. Farmer's free wheel and fun track. I don't know. Weaving I camels. Know. Chicken run. Wow. Now oh, there's another one of those. So it's a shared zone again? Okay. But I thought we had to go up there. I'm pretty sure I did. He said go back up there past the brewery and it should take 20 minutes. And it's taken us Hang on. about eight minutes so far. I reckon that's it. I've just come across a bunch of chooks. And yesterday as we were driving past, I saw a thing up there that says free range eggs. They weren't kidding. They are free range chooks. This is what we drove past yesterday. I don't think no, it's in there at the no. moment. They look rare breed hens. They're a rare breed like you. Yep. Intersection now and this one says Cathedral Rock. There somewhere, which is where we've just come from. This is Lambert Street that we know all about since the information board was on the sign. Mm, Chris is still like figuring out rock. the map. Mm. And down here is the brewery. Yes, the brewery. Looks like there's going to be accommodation there or something, doesn't it? Yeah. That look cool. Looks like some really cool little cabins being constructed at the moment. And there's a cool church over there actually too. Mountain, hey. Mm. So... Did we say before it's like the southern Flinders Ranges here and this is all Mount Remarkable, so... So that's Mount Remarkable there. It actually is remarkable. Oh, 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 ruins. Where? On that grass hill. Where? Oh, that's where they said. That's what we're going to ride up to. Yeah. We were right up there this afternoon. Well so spotted, Miriam. Quarter past five we're riding, so he reckons we'll go on about a 30 or 40k ride, which I'm pretty stoked about. As we're walking past, I can see there is a sign there that says brewery guest house. There's some stairs that go down and then there's that incredible building right there. How sick is that building? Look at it. Can you imagine the vibes going on here after a ride? So see all this, see all the steel bars along here that go all the way up? This one's right here. Yeah, so that's all bike parking. So when you pull up, you just hang your bike up on its seat there. So. After a good trail, man, the vibes here would be sick. Are we allowed to come here later or what? Of course we can. Yeah. Have I ever denied you a visit to the pub? No, you haven't. And the fact we can walk here from You've where our caravan really is? a really good partner, yeah. Or we can ride our bikes. Or we can ride. Yeah, no. I think we'll be coming back here. And did you see up the top? You can't quite There was see. a balcony up there. I'll zoom in. There I we go. can't wait to see in there. I want to look in there. So, these sort of buildings are very foreign to him. Oh, well, not really. We've been in South Australia for that long and so well, many yeah, times but now. You didn't you're just grow... the, the stone buildings. This is what you the architecture is like. You didn't grow up with them and you, you love it. Yeah. And did you see that building over there? It actually goes downstairs too, like a yeah. cellar type thing. <laughs> Who it's knows what's down there? pretty downstairs. rad, hey? Yeah. Oh. Well, this town officially is sick. <laughs> officially. It's, it's been awesome. rated sick. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at the brewery up behind us. Look at that. So we're going to go back now, we're going to get our bikes ready, we're going to chill a little bit, get a little bit of work done, and then we're going to take you guys on a ride this afternoon, hey? Time to get adventurous. And then we'll probably come back to there, I reckon. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I just block your face because of the brewery? Oh. Uh, whoa, 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 hello, whoa. Hello, hello. <laughs> Let's go. that it was important to point out that there's a service station down there and what else is in that service station well all i can see is another pub <laughs> and another pub up there a little there's gro groceries there not a huge amount of groceries but there's enough enough so if you haven't done your groceries don't panic there's heaps there is that what you wanted me to say that's exactly what i wanted you to say and there's also beer there 
and there. <laughs> so. Okay, for all your information lovers, here we go. You've found an information here we go. board. Information. This is actually really interesting. So it says Melrose was first surveyed in 1853, making it the oldest town in the Flinders Ranges. So the town, together with Mount Remarkable National Park, offer the visitor a variety of activities. Um, and it just goes to list what you can do here. And there are things other than mountain biking, which is pretty cool. So leisurely stroll, hike up the mountain, book a four-wheel drive tour, relax, enjoy the scenery. Um, oh, for those with exercise in mind, both the Hyson walking and Mawson cycling trails pass through town. So there's heaps to do here. So the Hyson Trail is over here. So what's going on with this? I've never heard of it. One dude, I showed it to oh. you down at Cape Jarvis. We saw it at Cape, Cape Jarvis and I did a little so bit. So Cape Jarvis and it goes all the way. Yeah, you can walk uh, it. So. Wow, past, past Port Augusta and goes right See up to it. the top. There you go. It was developed by Terry Lavender between 1941 and 2004 and named after Australian artist Sir Hans Hyson. So, wow. does it say how far it is? Mm, 1,200 kilometres, there you go. Where are you seeing that? Oh, at the, the top, top there. Right. Yeah. Wow. So that is a long distance walking trail for those people who like walking long distances, which is not us. So we will not be doing this for you. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I just said, this is Crystal Brook to, to Corn, and this section of the Hayson Trail is for experienced hikers, takes 10 days, and is- 10 days? Yeah, I know, I lost your attention. Actually, I got your attention at 10 Whoa. days. And it's 180 kilometres. It delivers panoramic views of the Spencer Gulf to the western vast Willowcra Plains to the east for a feature of the southern Flinders Ranges. It would be spectacular. Yeah, but long. But not something I want to do. But yes, spectacular. We just walked back into the caravan park and Chris hasn't seen this yet, but I'm going to show you. Look at this sign. Brewery open, weekends only. And let me just check what day it is. <laughs> it's Thursday. So it's not going to be open while we are, so he's going to be devastated. Poor Christopher. I think that just means that we need to come back here. And we know we need to come back here because originally we were going to spend a week here. Um, but now we've only got... Hang on, let me check. Oops, I'm going to check what date it is. Oh. It's the 2nd of March today and we have to be in Perth by the 12th. So we have 10 days and we've got another night here. So nine days. <laughs> to get from where we are in South Australia all the way across to Perth because we fly out of Perth to Brisbane for the 4x4 show on the 13th. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely can't spend a week here, which means we need to come back, which is fun by us because we've always wanted to come here and spend a bit of time. So even a week or two after speaking to, oh, I can't remember his name, in the bike shop, there seems to be a whole lot to do around here. So anyway, I guess it's just on one of those return to location lists. <laughs> I just saw a sign and I read a bit of information that I don't think you're going to like. What's that? The pub's only open on weekends. Today's Thursday. <laughs> no, he has no response. I reckon you're full of it. Mm, no. I just saw the pub's open. No, it was on the um, billboard near the reception, the sandwich board near the reception. I don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it? I don't it. want to believe it, no. So he's going to be probably in a bad mood now, so I'm going to go and I'm going to show... <laughs> go. I'm going to show you around.